Staying with news affecting our own continent, the much-anticipated Lesotho National Dialogue for Reforms and the country's coalition government hang in the balance. Well, this follows a constitutional court ruling that nullified an amnesty clause. The clause paved the way for the return of opposition leader Mateo Jo Mutsing. Mutsing had demanded temporary amnesty after being in exile in South Africa for more than a year and the parties signed an agreement to allow this, but the constitutional court ruled that the amnesty clause is unconstitutional. A long-time uh, facilitator for this region, SADC, the Southern African Development Community, President Cyril Ramaphosa, is expected to attend the dialogue on Monday. Since 2014, SADC has been nudging Lesotho to undertake constitutional security and public service reforms. And facilitator, retired Deputy Chief Justice Dikhang Moseneke, has brokered a deal towards dialogue. And I've got a guarantee from Dadem Seneca, I've no reason really to doubt SADAC mm. and also to doubt the government. I hope what they mean, what they say, it is what they mean. Metzing is facing allegations of corruption and masterminding the 2014 alleged coup in which a policeman was killed. He is also accused of being behind the killing of former Army Commander Maaparangwe Mahau. Museneke's deal has a clause 10 that provides for a moratorium for amnesty from prosecution during the reforms, but the Lesotho Constitutional Court has ruled that the clause is unconstitutional and this could mean Metzing can be arrested upon arrival. Also under fire is Deputy Prime Minister Munyane Muleleki for signing the deal on behalf of the government. To President Cyril Ramaphosa for his continued commitment to assist in Basutu find a lasting solution. The other partners in the four-party coalition have accused Muleleki of being loyal to his former party's Metzing's LCD and former Prime Minister Bakadita Mosisidi's Democratic Congress, but his supporters have come to his defense saying he has always preached reconciliation. Receive a report on Lesotho. Long-time SADC facilitator President Cyril Ramaphosa is expected to attend the reforms dialogue on Monday and Metzing's LCD says it is continuing with preparations for his welcome party scheduled for Sunday while the government continues to present a united front despite the Clause 10 fallout. Ntakwana Ngadani, SABC News, Johannesburg.